No, this is not the intro to Rihanna's music video for work featuring Drake. But this is where they filmed the intro to that video. Speaking of intros, hello there. It is Thursday, April 4th. The time is 5.07 p.m. And the temperature right now is around 4 degrees Celsius. And it is raining lightly. And this here is the intersection of Gerard Street East and Carla Avenue. And there's a look to the west along Gerard Street East. And just west of here is the East Chinatown neighborhood. And at the end of East Chinatown is a bridge that'll take you over the Don River and into downtown Toronto. And for this one, I'll be taking a stroll past a shopping plaza that's going to be demolished pretty soon to make way for an Ontario Line subway station, as well as a transit-oriented community. And there's the rail line where the subway will couple onto that corridor. The subway station will be right on this corner here. There'll probably be entrances to it on other corners of the intersection, I'm not entirely sure. And then after I go past this plaza that's going to be torn down, I'll take a walk through Gerard Square. A rather small regional shopping mall, but one that's been fairly successful in recent years. But if you've been following the news in the city, you might be aware that this plaza on the right here is about to be torn down. That includes this Dollarama. And I guess most notably for the locals, this No Frills shopping mall, or <laughs> shopping mall, grocery store. It's a large discount or a budget-oriented grocery store. Now let's head up this way. will be a loss for the community. There is a Food Basics at Gerard Square. And the Walmart there, I think, has a limited supply of groceries. This whole plaza will be coming down. And just west of here, on Danforth Avenue, they'll be converting a Loblaws into a No Frills. Also, the neighborhood will be losing that gas station there. There's a lot of glare. But that was a look into No Frills. Loblaws being a more upmarket brand from the same company. So in addition to housing a subway station, a residential community will be springing up on these lands. that Loblaws or <laughs> No Frills will be closing on April 20th. I think most of these stores will be soon to follow after. That Little Caesars has already relocated. 
the Smith Chalet will be closing down. And the carpet mill, they've got a store closing sign in the window. So I'm heading over to Pape Avenue and we're going to cross a pedestrian footbridge. One that offers a great view of the downtown skyline on my way over to Gerard Square. Hopefully it's not so foggy and we can get a view of things. But Pape Avenue sort of dead ends right here and it resumes on the other side of that footbridge. Trump 2024. All right, I've seen everything. North of here at Danforth, you'll find Pape Station. Oh, sounds like a train's about to roar through. That's a go train. making its way to suburbia. Oh, hi. <laughs> Couple of viewers. There's the GO train. That will be going to Danforth GO. And the good news is it looks like it is not too foggy. Oh, I gotta put my camera to zoom mode. And we'll have an even better view. In a minute or so. Kind of neat how this bridge directly attaches to that apartment building. a via rail train making its way to Union Station. There's a look at that skyline view. Maybe I'll wipe the camera lens off. I'm a dummy. Yeah, I forgot my umbrella today. And just on the left is our destination, Gerard Square. And there's the Food Basics. I guess that place will get a lot busier once that no frills shuts down. A lot of people online were 
commenting that it's nowhere near as nice as the no frills. Just get another view here. There goes an eastbound 506 Carlton Street car. As we make our way down the rest of the pedestrian bridge, connecting Pape Avenue to what else but Pape Avenue. a neat little stretch of retail on the right here. Fashion World, Salon 350. One of the oldest pubs in the city is coming up. The Maple Leaf Tavern. I think it's more of a restaurant these days. As we make our way back to Gerard. There's the Maple Leaf Tavern that dates back to 1910. A bar that was claiming to be the oldest one in the city shut down earlier this week on Queen Street West, the Black Bull. I think the only ones older than the Maple Leaf Tavern would be the Wheat Chief, which is the actual oldest bar in Toronto. And if you count them, the Miller Tavern and the Gladstone Hotel, if I'm not mistaken. And here's Gerard Square Mall which at one point featured a Zellers and a Byway. This area had a bit of a seedy reputation back in the 80s when this was built. I think it opened in 1986. Some locals refer to it as Gerard Scare. That's a pretty healthy mall these days. It's got the food basics, it's got a Walmart, a Home Depot, a Winners. camera off it is covered in raindrops. Gerard Healthcare. This is the food basics. Apparently the produce selection here isn't as good as the no frills. It looks pretty decent from here. And again, I'm not a regular at this mall.
Gerard kicks. So it is a two-story mall. Professional book fairs. And here's the Walmart. We'll take a quick peek into here. This is definitely not a Walmart superstore. It also seems to be lacking the self-checkouts. I believe this is where the Kmart used to be. Pet food. And my favorite section, the electronic section. It's kind of small for a Walmart. There's a directory. Let's take a look at that. So on this floor we have the Food Basics, Walmart, a Home Depot, and we have the Staples, a Planet Fitness, and a Winners. Bell store, a Home Depot. You've made it to the food court. There's a few familiar places here. Not too familiar with the Tropical Joe's, a Subway. Last Saini Grow. There's a KFC Asian Gourmet Walk and Grill. La Grica. That's pretty much it for this lower level. Well, they have a GameStop here. Not too many vacant units. I managed to evade that security guard. Guys, careful on the We have a staples.
I read one comment online saying this was the best dollar store in the city. Hey, there's a Bennington. So there used to be one of these at Young and Eglinton. Service Canada. Sunrise Beauty Shops. Get your hair cut. There's Winners, which for our American viewers, it's very similar to Marshalls. In fact, they're both owned by the same company. and a very large Planet Fitness. So a number of these smaller regional malls are slated for redevelopment in the city. I think most notably Centerpoint Mall up at Young and Steels and Cloverdale Mall in Etobicoke, but a few of the other smaller ones are as well. شوفوا كيف البني ادم لما يكون صغير بكثر لما يكون كبير بصحى تعال شوف So that is it for Gerard Square Mall. Now I guess we'll head out and walk along a stretch of Gerard Street. That has been gentrifying lately. to get the back side of the mall. I probably <laughs> could have picked a better spot to come out. Oh well. Apparently there's a pretty good view of the skyline to be had from this parking garage.
We're missing a go train roll past. So what I should have done was just walk through the Home Depot here. I didn't know it had this exit at the back. Coming from this side. So back to Gerard Street East, it'll be. I'll make a left and we'll just walk over to Jones Avenue. And this is in the Leslieville neighborhood. for one pizza, it's a faux restaurant in that plaza. This is the stretch I mentioned. New ramen joint. Poke bowls across the street dive bar called Poor Romeo that's not really a dive bar. And if you keep going east along Gerard Street, you'll find yourself at the Gerard India Bazaar, otherwise known as Little India. I'm gonna do is try to catch a northbound Jones bus up to Danforth. Fusion factory. This is an old Pizza Pizza, which I'm sure used to do a very good business servicing this high school here at lunch hour. I hope you enjoyed this walk around this little corner of Toronto. Checking out a soon to be demolished plaza as well as Gerard Square Shopping Center. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you wish to support what I do. There's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides, and there is a super thanks button here below if you wish to say thanks that way. I have no idea when the next bus is coming, but that is not your problem, that's my problem. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, guys. Yoink.